Good morning, good morning, it's Susie Walker here. I just wanted to start the day off with a big motivational video because we're doing a day about creative beginnings today. I've got amazing experts lined up all day. We have Dina Glaberman, psychotherapist and founder of uh, Skiros Holidays, talking to us about how to how to create the life that you really want, how to create a great beginning and to make it happen. Many of us procrastinate, stop doing things. So I'm really excited that Dina will be joining us. She is a huge inspiration to me and somebody who has inspired my journey along the way. So for me, it'll be a great privilege to interview her at one o'clock. And then even more exciting that we have Monique Roffey at 7 p.m., who's a Costa-nominated writer um, and novelist. And she will be talking to us about creating creativity, life writing, how to write your book, how to get started on your book and how to get it finished. So I really, really hope that you will be joining us. Um, oh, I've got someone saying here that um, Dina's book is amazing. Yes, Debs, I agree with you. Her newest book, um, Into the Woods, is a memoir, which and, and The Joy of Burnout, um, which is another of my favorite books, which is, you know, af what happens after you after you burn out, how can you create the life you want? But just to start the day off, I just wanted to give you some three tips on how to create the life that you want. So um, it's something that I'm passionate about. It's something that psychology is, you know, psychology is all about this. We are all about um, creating the life that you truly want, not the one that everyone thinks that you should, um, that they should live, but the one that you, that you truly want for yourself so we have a, a section in our magazine called my life my way which is about people who are choosing to live a life according to their values so um it's just wonderful um a, a wonderful kind of premise rather than you know sometimes the media um people around us reflect about how life should be with a big handbag and Ex, you know spending this kind of money or having this kind of car or wearing these kind of clothes or psychology is all about creating the life truly that you want so I just wanted to talk about the three steps that how we do this so we're talking very much the theme today with our experts today is very much about creative beginnings and how to begin so what I want to talk to you in this just short section is three ways of how to begin so one is what you need to create the life you want is create space. It's very, very difficult to start thinking about your vision and to start thinking about um, the things that you truly want when you're just being bombarded and you're in, you know, in your life. So coaching, psychologies, magazine, were very much about creating um, space in your life. And we've got, I mean, funnily enough, we've got Dina coming, Dina Glauberman, who's the founder of Skiros, and that weirdly is where I started my my novel 10 years ago. Um, so it's to start in writing because I, I allowed myself to retreat from the world, from my responsibilities, and to start writing um, and to get the ideas that I really wanted. And it got me back in touch with my dream and being able to do that. So for you, how can you, I mean, not everyone can afford, uh, you know, to go on a retreat, but we can create space. We can create daily retreat. How can you retreat from your daily responsibilities? I've just written a, just a small piece about how to be idle um, from a fantastic book. I wonder if I've got it. Uh, yes, I have. Um, a French author called Dominique Leroux, um, The Art of Simplicity, which is really great. And she was just saying, just take some time out to go somewhere else for breakfast. So whether it's you booking, you know, at Skiros, for a week's holiday of you know creative writing, or you just go early to a cafe and just sit at a cafe and spend some time thinking about your life instead of um, just being bombarded by things. So the the piece I would say is when you when you create that space, it allows you time to think about what you do want versus what you don't. I think sometimes we can get a little bit hooked on what we don't want. So absolutely create some space whether it's this weekend or tomorrow or today even today even in the in the light of our creative beginning today start today create some space and this is what i'm going to ask you to do so the number one is create space two is create your vision so what i'm asking you to do is um la la land i call it create a vision of if i could wave a wand if i was your magical fairy godmother and i could wave a wand and you wanted to create the life that you really want what would it look like so i bring the magical element is because normally when you say people they 
when you ask people what do they want, normally they say to you what they think they can get versus what they really want. So when I give you permission, la la la, just silly nonsense. Do you want to fly to the moon? Do you want to, you know, do this? Notice all the themes in that. So just notice what it is that you really want, what it is that you really, really um want to create so just so what I ask if when I'm if I'm working with a client or when I'm working or when I'm talking to my friends is um, imagine that a journalist is coming to interview you in five years time and you're all over the you know the newspapers or the magazine what is it that they're coming to interview you about what have you created what have you done they're describing you know let's say you're in Vanity Fair or you're in Psychology's magazine or what have you done what have you created what is it that is so special that has been highlighted that the world is is celebrating you for and then just and so you don't have this is not reality this is this is not something that you you know because it's a little bit embarrassing to do this but if you you know if we could just create a wand and do anything that you wanted to do what would you create so how would you get up in the morning um what would be your main um thing that you did every day every day what would you um how would you go to bed who would you be with um just really flesh out the vision and i'm not suggesting then we're going to make a plan and make it happen absolutely not i just want you to sit with it and look at what the themes reflect so it may be that you um you know la la land you wanted to fly to the moon you wanted to become an astronaut but let's look about what that is about. Are you craving space? Are you craving freedom? Are you craving adventure? What is that? What's at the heart of that? So it's about, so first of all, go la la land, go big, go big on the vision and then think about it. Oh my goodness, what is it? What is it that you want to, that you, what that is reflecting in you? So um, for me, creativity is one of my highest values. So when I did my big vision, you know, it was all about writing novels and writing screenplays and, you know, and, and creating stuff with psychologies. And so, you know, for me, it was, okay, how can you be creative every day? So it's, it's once you have the big vision, then look about that. What can you do on a daily basis? What can you do on a daily basis that will, you know, help you feel free, help you to be adventurous, help you be more creative? What can you do? So, Thank you, Rina. We've got lots of people joining us. La 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 sounds really great. Um, this would be perfect for my destination. Hang on, I can't see what that says. My destination, me, create your vital vision, blueprint for living the life you love. Okay, that sounds amazing. I don't know sure what, sure what that is, um, Valerie, but yes, absolutely. I love this video and idea. Hooray, thank you very much. So what we're doing is about creating the life you want. Um, we're having a whole day today with Dina Glaberman from um, the founder of Skiros Holidays, who's one of the most inspirational therapists I've ever met she's she's had a massive impact on my life the joy of burnout was one of my favorite books and she's just wrote an amazing new memoir called into the woods and what she says it's all about beginning and beginning again um it was where I began my novel at Skiros I took some time out to go on a creative writing retreat and also um just taking time to actually start something obviously we can't all afford to go on a retreat or haven't got the time to go on a retreat so what how can you create a retreat it can be 15 minutes a day 15 minutes a day to get out of your you know you know washing up all the ironing all the all of the things what can you do just to give yourself some space number one number two is create this massive vision give yourself permission to think really large live it large think big really brilliant how can you do that and then look at it and say, what are the themes in that? So I'm not suggesting you start that straight away, but what are the things in that that reflect that you can start doing every day now? How can you get more adventure in your life? How can you get more creativity uh, in your life? How can you get more freedom in your life? Um, and look at that. So you can start creating it right now. You don't have to wait for five years time until some journalist is, is interviewing you. So that's number two. And number three is create a plan. So we're talking about the small baby steps in terms of living your values right now, which is really wonderful. Um, so that's wonderful. But we're also talking about creating a plan of action. I would say take between three and five actions a day towards um, exploring new options for yourself. 
you know, the old adage of coaching, if you keep on doing the same old thing, you'll keep on getting the same results. So what happens is you start going in one direction and then the real work begins because all the doubt comes up, all the kind of self-sabotage comes up, all of the, the kind of things, oh, I can't do that, I'm not clever enough, I'm not good enough, I'm little, all of that stuff comes up, all your negative critic. And I know Dina Glauberman from um, Skiros is going to be talking to us later this afternoon about how to deal with the inner critic. Uh, but for now, it's just notice it notice all of these things and make a plan so my, one of my greatest two of my greatest things are inner critics are um, I'm not good enough and in a doubt I'm not sure this is going to work and what happens is I procrastinate and I can't stop and, and just not finish it so what I'm learning at the grand old age of 50 is that the main thing is to keep going keep going keep going I mean you can alter course but it's it's just a brilliant self-development exercise. It's a great self-development exercise of like you notice that's coming up and then you can dance with that inner critic or you can talk to that inner demon about doubting. And, and you know, maybe they've got something relevant to say. Maybe it isn't the right time right now. So when is? So let's put it in. You know, maybe your summer's very busy. So, so why don't we put the date in for September? But in the meantime, therefore, what is a prep that you can do? What are the things that you need to do? Do you need to get yourself in shape? You know, do you need to get fitter if you want to run a the, the New York Marathon? Well, what could you start doing now? What, what, what are the exercises? Um, uh, we've got Rhiannon here saying, hello, I'm forever starting things and then self-sabotaging. Ah, oh, welcome to my world. You're not, I mean, this is this is the thing. It's you know, we're not alone. You're not alone in that. Um, many of us start things and then self-sabotage. And the key to all of this is being able to notice, observe how we self-sabotage, have a sense of humor about it because you're not alone, not to go into a kind of spiral of self-loathing. Absolutely not. Because it's just like, come on over, join the club. And then Let's find a way to elegantly dance around, find a way around and go forward. So it's just about finding that and being observing. I mean, what I sometimes think is, God, I, I'm really brave because I do have. I mean, none of my I'm not good enough stuff has ever gone away. I just have a different way of dealing with it. So it comes up and I'm like, oh, hi there. You know, not good enough stuff. Yes, you could be right, but I'm just going to try this. So it's finding a way for you to to move forward to keep moving forward or, or, or sometimes it is just to rest for a little bit um while you take your breath because i'm not a great believer in kind of forcing your way through so you know do do try different ways but the, the, you know my way is not your way so it's about finding um you know new ways for you to move forward so but so let's let's recap so today we're having a day of creative beginnings of how to begin so what my my three points today are create space create space to think about what you do want versus what you don't two uh create a big la la land vision madness you know you think oh you you don't it's so ridiculous that you'll never get there just think bigger than it but then look at that vision I think, well, what are the elements? What are the values that that's expressing? If you wanted to fly to the moon, what is it that you're really craving? Adventure, space, uh, big alone. Uh, what is it that you really want? Um, and if you, and then the third piece is uh, creating a plan, creating a plan and taking between two and three, um, two and three baby steps a day. I'm a great fan of baby steps. And then notice what's popping up, all the resistance, all the self-sabotage, all the things that will come and uh, try to stop you moving. So as soon as we move out of our, our, our comfort zone, all of that stuff is going to come. And the trick I am discovering is learning how to dance with all of that and, and not for you to go into spirals of self-loathing. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know, my teacher was right. I can't spell. Or, that, you know, I, I was rejected from journalist college because I couldn't spell. I couldn't get in. And if I if I believed that and stopped myself then, that would be the end of my career. I would not be here now. So it's like, how can you dance around that? So and so there are my three tips for today. There's going to be a whole day of creative beginnings. We've got the wonderful Dina Klauberman uh, coming from uh, the founder of Skiros, which is this amazing, um, I think the Southern Santa Time calls it one of the world's best holidays, um, which is fantastic. So um, she's going to be, she's a psychotherapist and she's going to be talking to us about 
how to you know building on what, what I just talked about is building the vision, um, how to deal with the inner pessimist and the inner critic, and how to keep going and create that plan. And at the end of the day, at 7 p.m., I'll be interviewing Monique Roffey, who is an award, um, an, a Costa um, nominated author, writer. She's doing some great stuff with life writing and memoir. Um, so it's really so if you're if you're a writer, but even if you're not a writer, do come to that. You know, it's just it's just 50 again. It's just 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes out of your day to come. And here's one of these masterclasses from these experts that we wouldn't normally get access to. So I really hope you'll join us. Thank you for joining me today. Great start to the day. Let's dance with all our self-sabotage and uh, notice all of that and go from there. Lots of love. Bye bye.